To understand how all of these reactions take place, we need to start looking at reaction mechanisms, which are just detailed descriptions of how bonds are broken and formed. as a starting material is converted to a product. And there are several types of reaction mechanisms and terminology that we need to learn. For example, if we have a one-step reaction mechanism, that's called a concerted reaction. Well, if A goes to B in more than one step, so if I have two plus steps, the reaction is called stepwise. So an example of a one-step reaction would be something like A goes to B. And in a stepwise reaction, A goes to some reactive intermediate. Which then would go to B. So anytime that we're drawing a mechanism, the most important thing is that arrows show where electrons start and where they go. So the key there is that arrows equal moving electrons. Not moving protons, not moving any other particle, moving electrons. And the great majority of the, the reactions that we're going to look at are going to have heterolytic cleavage of bonds. And what that means is that two electrons are going to move at once. So for example, if I have some fake molecule A plus plus B minus with a lone pair of electrons, the electron pair will move from where they are on B over here to A to form a new bond. A, B, and this is my new bond that just formed. In the radicals chapter, we'll also look at homolytic cleavage. Otherwise, we won't see that in any other chapter of the book. And that is that each atom, when a bond breaks, or keeps one electron. So the same kind of reaction, I could have A with one electron reacting with B with one electron, and they each donate one electron to make the new bond. Okay, so you can have heterolytic bond formation, homolytic bond formation, and then if you just took these reactions and reversed them, you'd have heterolytic bond cleavage. the bond breaks, and one of the two atoms gets both the electrons, the other one gets neither one. So B would get both the electrons in the first case, A would get none. You can also have homolytic bond cleavage, in which case if we did reverse of this reaction, as it breaks, B would get one electron, A would get one electron. We form radicals. These compounds with a single unpaired electron are called radicals.